So we're going to do rond de jambe à terre, meaning around the leg on the floor. Usually it gets mixed up, or later on it gets mixed up with rond de jambe en l'air, or just grand rond de jambe. So sh to do that, she's going to point tendu from fifth, tendu front. And then she's going to go to the side, and then she's going to continue around to the back, lifting up and out of her waist, and coming through first heel front. Again, all the way around, side back. And because she's going in the direction of out and open, she's doing what we call en or. On de or, right. And then later, like a grand rond de jambe would start with it at maybe dégagé level. Sorry, go ahead. And side, still working the rotation, working up in the hip, the rotation. Never think it's coming from the feet. Let's go on de don now. So on de don is simply the reverse. You're going back around to the front. So you being the center of the universe, we're now going in reverse, right? And off the floor, straightening that good. And you see how she drops into that hip? The, the other big mistake here is people go turn in, turn in, turn in, boom, and they come down. So she's, she's going very s uh, it in increments to go from the back, just low, please. Bring it around, bring it around, bring it. She's turning out all the way through instead of in pieces. So that's also very nice. Usually at the end of a rond de jambe sequence, we do some stretching. This is very important to be uh, very lithe and limber. So uh, the generalized stretch is li lifting over with the stomach, um, sorry, the chest, go ahead. So there she is leading with the chest. She drops her head at, at the last. She rolls up her back. She lifts up through the top of her head, her hands over the top of her head, and she's going to look out towards the audience, not because you're there, but because that's generally acknowledged way in which we do arches, and she's going to come back up. Now, if she goes sidewards, just angle out a little bit. There we go. If she goes sidewards, it's, it's really core, core exercises because she's going over to the side, but now she's got to get back, so she has to use this side, and now she's going to release the bar and do the other side. So she's going over, holding the center, and now she's got to pull back up with the muscles in the waist to finish the port de bras. And then usually we finish with a balance, but we're going to do something extraordinary today, which is that uh, penché. So it's a regular arabesque. Which is your better side? That side? OK. Yeah. Oh, OK. So let's be over here so you can see it in quasi, face me. So it'll be the other leg. All right, so go to your regular arabesque position. So at the very end, let's say you're a beginner, you'll usually just do straighten your knee. It's another thing that happens with beginners. They do arabesque, and they don't remember or can't feel their knee being straight or not in the back, so it's slightly bent. So she's going to be straight, and she's lengthening from the fingertip on this side all the way through, down, and out with the energy out the back foot. So. There she goes. She's going to get up to her highest arabesque, because we're going to show you penché, even though this is going to be a while down the line. And then she's going to just take the whole thing over. Don't drop your back. Thank you. And then she's going to come up, chest up, and back to arabesque. Rise. And of course, in order to make this work, she's got to square off her shoulders over the standing leg, put her hand in front of her nose, her foot right behind her head, her chest is straight up and fo slightly forward to the standing leg, and you'll feel it working. Very good. So remember, it's rond de jambe, à terre, so it's on the floor. Sometimes you can demi-plié to do that, but you're always working the foot, still working the foot. Pretty warm by now. And en dedans, which would be the reverse. A lot of those to get the hip warmed up in a circular motion. All right, that's rond de jambe, à terre. Thank you. <laughs>